Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I broke! I decided to give in and watch yet another film in the Now I Spit on Your Grave franchise. I'm talking about I Spit on Your Grave 3, Vengeance is Mine. This is a 2015 film that was directed by R.D. Bronstein, or Bronstein. And it brings back Sarah Butler as Jennifer. Sarah Butler was the main character, the main woman from the first movie, or at least the remake. The only one that I had seen previously. And when you get to the second movie, it's a new girl, new character. I don't even know if it's supposed to be in the same universe. It's just, hey, this effed up stuff happened to yet another <laughs> poor girl. So this time around, they brought the original girl back. And you see that she is... A little distraught. She's a little effed up from what happened. Obviously, she has these dreams. She has fantasies and, and visions of just how angry she is because of what happened to her. She's in therapy. She's in group meetings. Like, this girl has a lot going on. And so you see that she meets this girl, Marla, at the meeting. And the two of them form this bond because they both have been hurt and abused by men and and whatnot. In fact, I was starting to think, are they going to become a couple? But the Marla gets killed. She gets killed by an ex-boyfriend who was abusing her, and so Jennifer decides F that. You know what? These fantasies that I've been having on killing people, killing men who, who have wronged me, or who who are giving me these these rapey vibes that, that she has. She'll have interactions with people, and just that conversation brings her mind to violence so she says no more fantasies i'm going to go out there and i'm going to wreck some havoc and that's what this movie is about now what i thought of i spit on your grave three vengeance is mine is you know what this movie isn't bad in fact this might be so far my favorite of the i spit on your grave series because the first movie is so brutal so hard to watch yes she gets her comeuppance yes she she is the the dark avenger who goes out there and kills each and every one of her rapists one by one and gets her revenge and that's satisfying in a way but you still have to sit through almost an hour of her being raped the second movie new girl but very similar situation this time you don't have to see a girl get raped Sure, she's having PTSD. Sure, she's having flashbacks of that original film. So you see flashes of it and whatnot to kind of remind you of what she's been through. But we've already been with this character. We've already followed this character. So you don't need to, thankfully, they didn't just have her get raped again and just do the whole thing over again. No, she is dealing with it. It is very much a moving forward in the story of her life. And I like that. I do. And I like this actress, Sarah Butler. I liked her very much in the first movie. So seeing her back, seeing her going towards this this hardened shell of her former self seeing her just have these issues i thought she played up very well and and she took the character to places that i wasn't sure we were gonna go but they did that and then her and her little relationship with marla played by jennifer landon i like that i almost wish we got more of marla and more of the two of them together in fact if this movie would have been the two of them going off like a duo killing guys and doing what they're doing that would have been just as cool as well but i guess you had to have something i mean did you have to but you had to have something in this story to push her over the edge yes there's having fantasies yes there's daydreaming about killing people or being violent punching somebody in the face or whatnot but this gave her the that just that push that she needed to start killing the way that she does and I, the violence, it does get brutal, but she's going up against people who seem like they deserve it, right? This guy who's been raping his daughter, she goes after him. The ex-boyfriend that kills her friend, she goes after him. The several people that you go, all right, they seem like they deserve it. Even though one of these guys, boy, they get it hard. As, as screwed up and as messed up as they are as a criminal, as a rapist, it just it's just it's hard to watch and that's what gets to me about these movies is that they're violent no matter who the violence is happening to and then you get to a point where uh, Sarah Butler Jennifer she 
she gets almost a bloodthirst. She enjoys killing so much, uh, bad people in particular, that even though the heat is getting on her, even though cops are on to her, detectives, a bunch of characters, in fact, one actress who are, she's on Law & Order, SVU, she was in Daredevil season two, she always plays a cop, like every time I see her, and, and they're very much on to her, but she can't help it. In fact, there's a moment where she finds herself going out and dressing a certain way, uh, heels and a skimpy dress, because she's wanting for somebody to put advances on her just so that she has an excuse to kill them. And I'm not saying that just because she dresses that way, she would deserve to get hit on, but it's, it's a sick mentality that she has because one of the guys who does hit on her, he wasn't even trying to rape her, but she's almost pushing him to try to sexually assault her so that she can kill the guy. It's, it's, it's messed up. You're watching a character go to a low place and you're conflicted on how you feel about her, how you feel about the situation, but you also feel bad about her because of what she's been through. And there's even a character that she works with, this guy who kind of sort of hits on her, but he's, he more so asks her to hang out after work or go with a group of people to a bar and whatnot. Very friendly, very nice, but she in her head is like, no, men are disgusting, they only want one thing, this guy is clearly lying, he's not genuine, there's no such thing as nice men. And so that mindset, it's, it's rough to watch a character just be so negative and be so so angry all the time but overall compared to these other I Spit on Your Grave movies I thought this was fine this was an easier watch dare I say because there are still some messed up scenes this still I would recommend it though if you've already seen one of these movies this one is at least a progression this one is at least advancement in a character that's been through some rough stuff so guys let me know in the comments below if you too have seen I Spit on Your Grave 3 Vengeance is Mine what did you think of it? Did you like it as well? Do you like how they're taking this series? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!